Hi there, I am Keisha P. Shield, CEO of Pink Label International and founder of the Reclaiming Her Throne Global Initiative for Women in Business and Women in Career. And we are in the third video, yeah, we're in the third video in our five days of physical freedom series. Now the question for today is, what is the one thing that you are going to do to introduce more things that will nurture your mind, your body, and your soul? And for me, there's two things that I know right away I want to be doing more of in 2015 to nurture my mind, my body, and my soul. The first one is more movement. I have become so much more sedentary um, over the years, and especially being a virtual entrepreneur, virtual business owner, um, it's easy to spend a lot of time sitting at the laptop, um, working, you know, running the world from your computer, making things happen. But if you're not careful, you can see the effects of that, especially if you're indoor too often and you don't get a chance to get sunshine and all of that. So for me, more movement throughout my day is going to be really, really important. Now, I talked about how I do my dance breaks whenever I do my time breaks, and I love that. But I'm talking about involving more activity into my life. For me, I'm the kind of person I'm much more likely to stick with something if I'm having fun, if I'm getting that rush, that adrenaline, that charge, but I'm enjoying myself at the same time, whether that's something like a social activity, like a dance class, which I love dancing, by the way, that's one thing I want to do more of, or whether it's participating in some kind of a sports team. Something that has that added element and added dimension of um, socialization, I guess. So um, for me, it's about finding different ways I can incorporate movement into what I do. Another thing I uh, wrote down when I was planning out this blog is doing more like city walks. And for me, that's a way that I can be more social at the same time. It's to kind of meet up with some people who, you know, and go out and do walkable things like down like in the city, you know, and just enjoy some of the shops and you know, the, I guess the sites, the sites that you can see and all that. So just do more of that. And then another thing that I would love to do and incorporate this year would be to start cycling. Now, we're in California, and cycling is huge, 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 huge out here. And I haven't ridden a bike in probably since I was a kid, for real. And I know that it's something that's low impact, but that can still have high impact. And for me, that's something that I can incorporate. Um, so I think I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to pencil that in. No, I'm going to pin that on my calendar. I'm going to get a bike this year and I'm going to get cycling. So make sure you guys hold me to that, okay? And then the second thing about um, that I'm going to introduce to help my mind, body, and soul is to incorporate more fuel in the food that I intake. Oh my goodness, my food intake is horrible. It's better than what it used to be, but a lot of times I'm quick on the go type things. Um, and even when I make it and if I cook at home or if I portion it out, it's sometimes still not the best options or I start snacking and all those things. And I think that as long as I'm more active and have more movement, I think this is going to naturally kind of flow for me. So I'm going to be focusing on those things, getting more um, activity throughout my week and um, 